Hello, welcome to my bar. I'm Mo Blunts. Today we're gonna to be performing a little bit of cocktail magic. I came up with this cocktail idea when I was working at my last restaurant and we were trying to find a solution, a natural solution for blue Syrica. My beverage manager suggested using butterfly pea flour. And that's going to be the primary ingredient in our first step here. I got it right here. I've made it into a simple syrup for other cocktails, but we are not doing that today. What we're gonna do is we're going to boil this down and freeze them into cubes and you'll see what our final product looks like. So without further ado, let's get started on our butterfly pea flower Mai Tai, or how I like to call it, the butterfly Mai Tai. So sit back, relax, take some notes if you want to, and enjoy this episode of Mo Drinks. Mo Drinks. So the first step here is literally as simple as boiling tea. I'm gonna take my big cube tray and I'm gonna fill it up with water. As you can see, I, I've taken my big cube tray that I'm gonna freeze my cubes in, I filled it up with water, and I'm just gonna dump it all into my pot that I'm boiling. Today I'm using dried butterfly pea flowers. And it's as simple as boiling tea, because this really is an iced tea. Butterfly pea flower has a Latin name called clitoria because it resembles a certain part of female anatomy. So we're just gonna bring this to a boil. Turn my burner off, and now I'm ready to strain. And I got some nice dark blue Tea water here. You can see it kind of reflecting that purple blue as I move it. The light is reacting to it. That's why this ingredient is so magical. So we're gonna get this into our cube tray. I'm gonna pop my cubes in my freezer here. And we'll come back to it in about four hours and make our drink. All right, welcome back. It's now afternoon. I've had a long day today. I've had a couple of workouts. I hung out with my cat. And, and now my uh, butterfly pea flower ice cubes should be frozen by now. And we can finish our drink. I'm ready to sit back and relax. So first and foremost, I'm gonna prepare my shaker. And I'm gonna get my glassware ready. We're serving today's drink in a rocks glass. And I'm gonna be chilling my shaker down with normal ice. Cause I don't want my butterfly pea flower cubes to mix in with my shaker. You're gonna see that magic at the end. It's gonna be kind of an interactive experience for the guests. So a typical Mai Tai is light rum, dark rum, orange surakiao, and a sherry. As usual, I'm gonna be making my Mai Tai a little bit differently. I'm gonna be using a Jamaican rum. I'm gonna be using triple sec. And instead of the orange Syracau, we're gonna be using the butterfly pea flower ice cube and a little bit of lime juice as our mixer. So to start, I'm gonna use my rum. I'm just using a basic plantation rum today. And I'm gonna do 1.5 ounces, which is a six count. Next, I'll be adding my Tattersall Orange Crema, which is my triple sec for today, my orange liqueur. I love Tattersall. You've seen me use Tattersall if you've watched this series before. I'm gonna keep using Tattersall because it's fantastic. I'm going to be adding 0.5 of an ounce of the Orange Crema. And that is a two count. So it's time for me to add my mixer element. I'm just adding some lime aid. That's basically just simple syrup and lime juice. You can add fresh lime juice. I'm just cutting some corners today. And I'm, it's gonna be about two ounces of lime juice. 
All right. Time to make some cocktail magic happen. I'm gonna seal my shake, and I'm gonna shake up my beverage. As we can see here, it just looks like a normal limey cocktail. Nothing special. I'm gonna add our butterfly pea flower cubes. And I'm gonna garnish this with Alright, time to give our butterfly Mai Tai a try. All I can really smell is the lime juice. I don't really smell any of the, the rum. Maybe a little bit of spice on the finish of the nose there. But it's rum forward. But it's more like the sweetness of the rum, not the bitterness of the rum. It's a really nice balanced cocktail. It looks really beautiful. And I think you'll blow your guests away if you put something like this on your menu. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for joining me today. My name is Mo Blunts, and this is Mo Drinks. Cheers.